Let's explore some ethanol reactions. Ethanol is an alcohol which has two carbon atoms, eth, two carbon atoms, and it's an alcohol, meaning its functional group is OH. So the first one is what happens when it reacts with sodium? Well, the first thing to know is that sodium is a very reactive metal. So it is going to go and kick that hydrogen out. So what does it give you? That gives us CH3, CH2O. It kicks out that hydrogen and the Na gets stuck over here and the hydrogen comes out. But of course the hydrogen cannot come out as H. You might know the hydrogen comes out as H2, which means you need to balance this equation. Well, we can just double everything else. So what do we get? We get sodium ethanoxide, sorry, <laughs> ethoxide. Sodium ethoxide, ethoxide, what do you wanna call that? And this would be the case for any other alcohol as well. If you had three carbon atoms over here, well, you would get the same oxide again, sodium oxide, but with the three carbon atoms. All right, now let's look at the second reaction. In this case, we're gonna heat ethanol in concentrated sulfuric acid. What's it gonna do? Well, remember that sulfuric acid, especially concentrated sulfuric acid, acts like a dehydrating agent. Dehydrating agent. Meaning it is excellent at removing water whenever possible. And usually that's what it does with organic molecules. So it's going to remove water from this. So H2O, water is going to come out. So what is left? Well, if I remove this OH and one more H, what I'm left with is CH3CH, right? Because one H from here and OH went out. But clearly this can't be the final molecule because this carbon is supposed to have four bonds. This carbon does not have four bonds. So instead what's gonna happen is that it's gonna redistribute in such a way that you get CH2 and CH2 and you'll end up with a double bond over here. In other words, you get an ethene. And this is an excellent way to create alkenes. So if you want to create alkenes, one way to do that is by taking alcohols and dehydrating it. And you can do that by using concentrated sulfuric acid and by heating it to high temperature. If you heat it to high temperature, the reaction proceeds much faster.